welcome back to Tempus Valorem. So today, uh, this is my team in Arena, and I didn't play for a long time. So it's not so bad, but could be a little bit better. And what could help me to make it a little bit better would be to actually uh, manage to get uh, Bera, for example, in my team. So Bera is one of the heroes, uh, as you may know, that is available in Valhalla Summon. She's uh, a purple slash dark uh, tank, and she can help you a lot uh, in terms of sustaining, etc. So if we look at the top teams uh, in the game, a lot of them are going to use Bera in the middle to be able to make your team sustain uh, much more and be able to actually uh, reach higher in the arena. So here you can see that I'm not very high in the arena, so I'm still going to manage maybe to win uh, this one. Uh, but like you have some characters like that sometimes that are really uh, needed into your comp. So here, for example, if I had Odin and Bera, it would be really, really good for my account because it will help my Frig actually sustain uh, much better, uh, be able to dish out more damage and uh, just Odin and like it's madness. Like I would have actually all the shields uh, on the screen that's like empowering me almost like the yellow ones will do, the green ones will do as well. It would be really good for me. So it's something that I really like to uh, to achieve. Now we're going to check the banner. Um, okay, I'm going to leave this one uh, just to show you guys. I lost, it's okay. Uh, next time maybe uh, I'll win. So here if I go to the banner, the Valhalla Summon banner, you can see there's three featured units. And here it's going to be very tempting for me uh, to actually go and check Bera and to be like, whoa, she's featured. So actually, like, I really want her. <laughs> Let's go get her. Um, now we're going to check some of the things here that are the appearance rates. And you can see that actually, like, a legendary featured hero has 1% chances to, <laughs> to appear. And here you have three. So that's going to be one of the things that we're going to check uh, together. And we're going to compare Empire and Puzzle to all the games as well that are quite similar. See you in a minute. So if we have an overview, let's say, of the gacha game scene. Here we're going to start with only the games that give you, let's say, a unique hero. Uh, so we're going to discard actually the sharded uh, heroes where you need to get like, I don't know, 30, 40, 100 copies of the hero to level him up and where the level up is really uh, a crucial factor in the power of the hero. Here we're going to take the games that are actually like uh, just taking a unique hero where having a copy of the hero sometimes can empower it. Uh, but not to an extent uh, as strong as the sharded ones. So we're going to take three KPIs, so key performance indicators. One will be the chances of getting a five star. If you spend $100 per month optimizing your purchase in that game, so getting subscriptions, uh, getting um, battle pass, etc. Uh, the second one will be uh, your chance of getting a five star with 100 uh, instant. So this is like you're in passive, you, you spend 100 directly in the, in, in the game. What can you get back? and then the cost of sniping the best five stars in that game. So that's going to be important because, okay, getting a five star sometimes is not that hard, but getting the one that you want is the thing that matters. So let's start. So we start with a game that I'm not the most familiar with, but I had a quick look at and uh, just wanted to actually show uh, some of the, of the early findings. Let's say I'll get back to it uh, a bit more in details later. But the chances of getting a five stars with spending a bit of money, even not spending money, are actually quite uh, high. So here's going to be SSR. Uh, so if you spend uh, instant, it's going to be about the same because your, your chances are really high. So here in all the probabilities that we're going to show, this is cumulative probabilities. So we're not actually uh, taking an average of how many heroes you will get. This is the chances actually that accumulate and that are parabolic to actually get uh, something for certain and that come for certain. Uh, so the cost of sniping then, the best five stars in that game, though, are very, very high. So for example, on the banner that is there at the moment, you have 10% uh, chances when you make a draw uh, or a summon to get uh, a five star. So that's really good, very, very high. However, within this 10%, you have 5% chances to get eight of the featured um, heroes. From the eight of the featured hero, only two can be ascended to LR. So actually, like the heroes that you really want are going to be 25% uh, of 5% of 10%. So actually, the cumulative probabilities of hitting one of these five stars is going to be really, really hard uh, to reach. So that's why we actually reaching the astronomical sum of uh, more than $6,000 to spend to get it quite for certain. So when we say for certain here, we're aiming at 80%. So 80% chances that you get that hero. 
Now, if we go to Summoner's War, so Summoner's War, actually, like even if you spend $100 uh, dollar per month, your chance of getting a five stars are still quite low, uh, less than a third. And if you get an instant, uh, you can see that they go lower. So what does that mean here? That means that the game system uh, will give you like subscriptions, etc., that you can get. I think you can get two subscriptions even uh, in Summoner's War, if not more, to get actually uh, daily bonuses. And in anything that's actually subscription based, you get much more value over one month. Uh, than the rest. So here you can see a big difference, almost the double. Now the cost of sniping, the best five stars. So here we're at roughly a thousand dollar and I cannot really put uh, in this one in Epic 7, the light and dark or the, um, the moonlight summons uh, because they're astronomical value. You can multiply that by maybe five or 10. Uh, so it's like a bit different. Um, it's a bit hard to assess, like maybe I'll do it in a separate video, but this was a uh, quick, uh, quick overview. Then if we go to Genshin Impact from my Hoyo, we have 34% uh, uh, chances if you spend $100 uh, every month. So it's going to be mainly driven by the, um, the Welkin Moon uh, subscription and then some additional bundles. If you do an instance, you will see that actually you go uh, a bit lower in your chances because you're going to do less summons. And again, you're around $1,000 to get the best ones. So here, the good thing is that you have a PT system. So let's say the $1,000 is quite uh, certain. You're going to get actually the featured hero. So you're not going to get like in the normal summons, like direct, etc. But you're going to get the featured hero with the strong, uh, really strong chances and certain chances past a certain amount of summons. So it's 180 total. Let's say 180, you're certain you're going to get that hero. Epic 7. Uh, so if you spend $100 per month, you, can, you have 36% chances to get um, a five star. You go a bit lower. Again, like the, the subscriptions are not so amazing in Epic 7. So the cost of sniping a, a five star will be roughly $400. Uh, so again, this is uh, not so bad because they have a, a PT system. I think 120 summons, uh, you get that, per, that character for certain in the exclusive banner. So that's actually uh, helping you actually keep a lower uh, cost. Now, if we go to seven daily sin, I actually spent a bit of money yesterday to get uh, seven and Merlin. Uh, here you can see that if you spend $100 per month, your chance of getting a five star are actually quite high uh, based on the rates that you have in game. Uh, so it's 4% uh, per draw roughly. And uh, you get actually quite a good amount of, um, of currency if you buy the, uh, the subscriptions, etc. Now, if you look at you pay $100 right now and your chances of getting one five star are 75%, so like three out of four. We It's not so bad, but so like still $100. Now what's important here is that if we compare to the others, we're not at dock and battle level, but we're still quite high. Sniping actually a five-star hero is gonna be much more expensive because the rates are quite low again into getting that hero that you really want. They have PT system that actually vary from one banner to another. So for example, the 11 banner, the PT system was at 600 gems. And uh, on others, like for example, Lil Merlin, it was at uh, 900 gems. So the, um, the threshold actually uh, of the PT varies. Uh, and it was even higher, I think, for Lost Vein, Meliodas, and for the one scanner. So it can be uh, even higher uh, than that, the ceiling. Now, the game that we just talked about, and and Puzzle, if we actually locate it uh, between these games, uh, we have actually 83% chances to get a five star if we spend $100 per month. So this is quite high. We have 67 if we spend $100 right now. So going lower, again, uh, quite decent subscriptions uh, on Empire and Puzzle. Now sniping uh, the best five star is more than $2,000. So this is uh, quite hurtful. So here, if we look uh, at the banner that we had to look at uh, earlier into Valhalla, if you want to get that specific character, that you want within three featured character, then it's one person chances to get uh, a featured character. If you have three characters, then it's 33, 0.33% uh, chances uh, to get the one that you want. So if you do actually the cumulative probabilities of getting over that banner, the hero that you wanted, we are $2,000, uh, $2,100, uh, which is quite crazy. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I wanted just to put in your mind sometime before you make a purchase or something like that, just realize that you know, like you're going to have the, the lost fallacy where you're going to be putting a bit of money and then, oh, what if I put a bit more? What if I put a bit more? Um, but I just wanted to showcase that if you're about uh, your chances at cumulative chances are at 40 percent or something like that, it's going to be harder and harder um, to be certain that you get that uh, hero. Of course, you increase your odds of roll, uh, but look at, for example, seven deadly sins, you will have to spend actually nineteen hundred dollars to be certain. Uh, to reach actually, for example, the 600, 900 gems uh, spent if you're at zero. 
so make a like an informed uh, informed call about that. Uh, but just like sometimes discourage yourself and just wait maybe for the next banner or something like that because you may spend $500 and actually not even get what you wanted and that would be really bad, especially in games that don't have a PT system. In games that have a PT system, if you're certain that spending another $100 uh, can help you reach that, I think it's okay. Um, in games that don't have it, uh, be very careful. Um, so that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I will be doing more deconstruction like that about the gacha uh, mechanism, and I'll go a bit more in depth, uh, you know, with the new banners, etc. Maybe uh, doing uh, something like that, a bit more deconstructed about specific banners. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this and what games would you like to see next. Bye bye, guys. Have a good day.